Ahoy there, Anthar the Captain here. I'm back with another update video. Um, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Take a pick as what you want to hear first. As, scratch, scratch that, scratch that. Uh, uh, let me let me answer that question for you. You already know. Out with it. All right. The bad news is um, I did some reevaluating and trying to get everything down and trying to figure everything out in, in terms of my life and the future of my gaming channel, Captain's Arcade, and my future. Unfortunately, I had this, uh, you know that uh, Sean Axe Memorial Series tournament that I mentioned for Big Blue Slug Slugger Baseball as a huge inspiration by my good friend Eric Lima of uh, WM WML WEML TV Channel 77, soon to be Eric Lima Shenanigans in 1977. Unfortunately, this will no longer be the case. Um, I've been trying to do a lot of reevaluating and trying to get everything. It's just because of my busy schedule and everything and trying to figure out my future and, um, and everything that's been going on in my life and <sighs> trying to get my future down pat. But so it, it's come with a, with a heavy heart that I canceled the, the, uh, the Sean Axon Memorial Series tournament for Big League Slugger Baseball on the PS1. I was really looking forward to this, but uh, post production is going to take a whole lot longer than I thought. And I w like I said, I, try I tried to get started with it back in January, but unfortunately, it just my schedule got too hectic, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be, be able to get, get it done in time. And besides, which leads me to the good news, I'm going to be starting filming in um, for Season 2 of Captain's Arcade. One of them, I'm going to be using this, the uh, Pocky Box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thousands and thousands of games on there. A whole lot more than the, that other arcade stick that I have. Not, not sure exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with it, but um, most, of, most of this is going to be coming with this, the uh, Pocky Box. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm considering doing some makeup episodes for season one due to audio difficulties. I, I know for sure I'm going to be doing Rugrats, Search for Reptar, Pocahontas, and maybe some uh, Rumble Roses, and uh, maybe a few of the baseball games, as well as Monopoly, Monopoly Streets on the uh, on the Nintendo Wii. But the ones I know for sure that I'm going to be doing uh, doing some doing some reshoots and uh, some do overs are. Um, Pocahontas and Rugrats Search for Reptar. Um, they're going to be appearing periodically throughout the seat throughout uh, season two. Like I said, I'm going to, going to be try to get season two um, started as soon as possible. As soon as I figure out the uh, games I'm going to play, I know for sure they're going to be getting a PS1 game that I've been dying to play, that I've been dying to get my hands on, that I've been dying to buy, even though I rented. But um, when the time comes. You'll find out for you'll find out about it. I also want to take my gaming channel captain's arcade to the next level. And it's all because of this video over here. Yeah, this video. And I want to send a special shout out to Kev on stage because he um, he's gonna be hosting a master class of how to use social media strategically to grow my audience and what have you. And uh, this is just living proof that God came at the right time and he's uh, motivated me to motivate me to do the to take this master class as soon as I get as soon as I get the money who knows when the uh, master class is going to be um is going to be still up there but I but I do want to but it does have my undivided attention I do want to I do want to take that master class and build my audience and besides I got my acapella group and um, my acapella endeavors for that matter I'm, I'm going to be Acapella is something I've been wanting to do for the longest time ever since I saw the sing-off and Glee and Strano Chaser and Pentatonix taking over the uh, music business. Um, so I want to use social media for that. And um, I got uh, Kev on stage today, but more importantly, God to thank. He's motivated me to do some pro uh, motiv motivated me to audition for some various projects. He's, audition he's motivated me to um do these various projects of my own um and uh listening to here's the thing and tuning into his podcast here's the thing even though i haven't listened to tuning into here's the thing as much as i should but um but 
that that's that's motivation right there. And um, big special shout out to Kevin on stage and the uh, link to the master class is in the description and the link to the video that I showed you is both on the uh, is both on the upper card and in the um, and in the description. And uh, like I said, uh, with uh, May being Mental Health Month, I've been uh, taking better care of my mental health, even though that the scars, the emotional scars, I may never recover from the emotional scars that have been left behind, but I got to make like Michael Jackson and make that change. You know what I mean? You can either let the devil, either let the devil take over your life or de de take over your territory or make like Michael Jackson and make that change. And I chose to make that change. I'm still determined to achieve my New Year's resolutions, and those are the uh, the gaming channel as well as um, starting my acapella career are two of them, and to and to take better care of, take better care of my life and better care of my mental health because um, it's time for me to make that change. And um, like I said, with May being Mental Health Month, mental health is more important than now than ever before. I'm taking it more seriously than ever before, so so that's that right there. But anyway, um, I apologize to everyone who's been looking forward to this, um, to the uh, Sean Atkinson Memorial Series tournament, because uh, like I said, Sean Atkinson is one of the many, re the biggest reason why I got into roller derby and roller jam, and I just want to send a big special apologies to all the uh, those that are involved in Roller Jam and all the from the fans to the skaters to everyone involved in Roller Jam who's been look, eagerly looking forward to this um, commentary. Of the rest of post production was going to be taking longer than I thought, and if I stuck to that, then I may never get get some stuff done in my personal life. And so I'm taking taking a step on faith and not by sight to achieve my dreams and to make those changes in my life. And um, the um, with the master class, I'm going to be stay, stay, taking st step even another step closer on faith and getting closer and closer to my dreams here. God put me on the God put me on this earth for a reason, and this is definitely going to be one. This is uh, my dreams are going to be one of them. Are going to be many, the many reasons. And if God is allowing me to wait here for as long as for as long as he's been having me to wait, and even though that despite my struggles in my life, then this is living proof that he has a lot of things in store for me to then my be on my wildest dreams. So it's a matter of just expecting the unexpected and um, keep, keep on pushing through and um, keep chasing after my dreams and God being in my corner the entire time, the heavyweight of heavyweights. And God being in my corner, standing behind me the entire, the whole nine yards and beyond. Then this is going to be living proof that he, I'm going to have everything I'm expected to have and more. Despite me waiting a long time. And um, having me struggle for all this time. You know what I mean? It's God's timing. And now, more than ever, I thank God for sending Kev on stage and my family motivating me to keep on tuning into Kev on stage because um, he's uh, Mr. Making It Happen. And, um, yeah. I'm, one, one other thing I want to mention is that um, my, top, my top two favorite moments from Kev on stage thus far. Number two, his uh, Uno, the uh, how y'all gonna tell Uno how to play Uno, and him going, you gonna play Uno the way Uno said, you gonna play. <laughs> and the other one is the uh, number one, my top favorite thus far from Kev on stage is his uh, Thanksgiving story. It's like, ain't no weenies? Might have been the worst Thanksgiving he's ever had. Or as Homer J. Simpson would say, correction, Worst thing Sammy had thus far. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and uh, share a little update over here. I just had to make this update. And like I said, with everything changing and uh, me making changes in my life, I, I, it's, it's, it's high time. My time is now. 
no time like then right now. Uh, I'm not sure how, the, how that quote goes from Jonathan Larson, the late great Jonathan Larson of uh, the playwright of Rent. He said that it's like no time than right now. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I don't know how it goes. If anybody can give me a hand, please let me know. All right, that's going to have to do it for this update video. Like I said, this video is going on my main page, Captain's World 1986, and my gaming channel, Captain's Arcade. And like I said, I'm thinking about doing a Patreon for some gaming exclusives, but I'm not exactly sure. Maybe that um, Kev on Stage Masterclass will touch on that a little bit more, but I'm hoping and praying that once I get the money, that um, that is still up there, that I, that I can still have access to it. Just got to pay that um just pay that to take that course and i'll be uh, closer and closer to my dreams but with that being said i bid you i do until we meet again maybe say goodbye <laughs>